morning everyone it is monday actually sorry it's tuesday this is an exciting intro because if you guys cannot tell my skin i'm not wearing any makeup right now and you guys know i have struggled with acne for so long i always do little skin updates for you and like my skin is clearing up so much and it just makes me really really happy like i have no makeup on right now nothing and I feel confident like going out without makeup on. Like, not perfect, I definitely still have like a lot of scars that you can see, but compared to what it was, it's like so much better. So I'm just getting ready right now. And if you guys didn't know, I have been traveling for the past month. So I have been traveling and working for the past month. I have been to Charlotte, Raleigh twice, not just once, twice. I've been to LA, I've been to New York City, to upstate New York, I've been to Connecticut, I've been to London, and obviously I was in Miami, but not even that obvious because I think I spent the least amount of time in Miami. I Good morning, LA. I am here for the shortest amount of time. I actually landed yesterday, but my camera was dead, and honestly, I just took yesterday to totally unplug. I didn't, I, I had like a whole solo day. I went to bed at like nine o'clock. Like I didn't leave my hotel after like five because I was just so tired, but I'm in LA for Create and Cultivate and I'm so excited because I'm speaking at Create and Cultivate today and it has been literally a life goal of mine to like speak at not only like this particular, partic let me redo that not only events in general but this particular event i have been wanting to speak at ever since i read jacqueline johnson's book work party which was i think the year after i graduated college i went to dry bar yesterday to do my hair so they did like super tight curls yesterday so they could do like it could be loose this morning because i didn't have any appointments for today and i really wanted to do my hair and make it look pretty and i actually think i really like the way it looks i have a curling iron i might like run through um some curls afterwards but overall i think it's cute la is looking really cute this morning i'm not gonna lie i woke up really early because obviously i'm on east coast time um but i leave tonight literally three planes in three days i came back from raleigh thursday night at like 11 i left for la at 7 a.m yesterday eastern time and then tonight i'm leaving on a red eye to go back to the east coast to attend a wedding tomorrow but i did wake up early so i figured i should enjoy the morning and i'm gonna go and walk to alfred's and get a coffee um and then i think i'm gonna go to Erwan and i'm gonna get some like a little breakfast and i really want to try the hailey bieber smoothie i know it's not gonna make my skin glow because it's been a little rough lately i always think like my skin would look so cute with no acne like i have very like glowy skin but it's just I have acne. Like if you look at my like forehead or like right here, like it like glows. Imagine it clear. One day, one day. I'll give a little hotel tour. I should have done this when I came yesterday because now it's messy. But I'm staying at the one hotel in West Hollywood and I've never stayed at the one before but i get the hype it is so nice um and that's why i didn't feel guilty staying in yesterday i was like at least i'm staying in like a very nice hotel um i literally ordered uber eats ramen and that's what i had for dinner i was supposed to go to dinner last night with the uh, creative juice team and i texted them i was like listen i am so exhausted like i am so sorry but i need to sleep so uber eats um ramen and then was in like full on asleep by 9 p.m. Anyways, let me show you the hotel room. Oh, it's huge. Like this is like a studio apartment. Um, <laughs> so you walk in, it's really, really big. The bathroom is right here. I have like all my stuff scattered, but it's like a huge bathroom. Um, shower is like really nice. Little mini bar action over here with an espresso, which I like so much better than like drip coffee. Um, and they have, it's so funny. This is like very bougie LA, like Instagram aesthetic, whatever, like wellness vibes here, because I'm pretty sure this is a candle that they have. So like, if you want to set the mood, um, then they have smart sweets, grass fed beef jerky, Southampton cookies or like Tate's bake shop cookies. These like truffle chips, popcorn, wine okay lover's kit then they have like this i thought was so funny it's like for soreness wellness stuff in it for your liver you know so if you're hungover like healthy gum what is this lip balm like 
it really got you covered i think it's just really funny it's not like the average mini bar but anyways this giant mirror which is gorgeous hello and then the bed the i love like the top part of it i think it's so pretty and like the ceiling it's so nice and then the views are just incredible but this hotel room is so big like look at these views i love it I always forget that LA is not like New York where people don't walk everywhere. And I know it's early, it's like 7 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. on a Saturday. But like, I just always forget that it's not like New York where I'm gonna see a million people everywhere I go. Um, I've seen like three on my 15 minute walk, but it's so nice. It's like not hot at all. Honestly, it's like a little chilly. I'm gonna get a hot coffee, maybe. Okay, this is the look. I just had my friend who is a stylist and the founder of a styling company, so I will have it down below. It's called Prepped. Um, I had her come and style me, so wearing this little number, which I think is super, super cute. It's giving like the Hervé Ledger, Hervé Legar. I'm saying that embarrassingly wrong, um, but you know, the bandage dress. I feel like the bandage dress trend is back, so this top needs to hang a little over. I have such a short torso, so crop tops sometimes aren't actually that cropped. I think this is so cute. I have skims underneath and skims just like holds my life together. Um, and I love it. White shoes, it's giving Barbie as well. And I really, really like it. I think I feel very like pretty in this. Um, and I really love the way I did my makeup also. So I'll show you in the good lighting. My skin looks good, my hair looks good. I'm feeling confident, which I haven't felt in a really long time. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I have been feeling like so, this is gonna sound maybe shallow, but like so ugly lately. Like I've just been feeling like I do not look good. And even if I like put makeup on, I just feel like I don't look good. And I feel like my peak was years ago um, and it's going downhill from now, but today, I feel confident, which is nice. Hopefully I'll get back to feeling that way, but sometimes I just feel like, I'm like, yep, I'm just not cute anymore. But today I spent a lot of time on my makeup. I feel like I covered my acne really well. Um, I need to do a makeup look on, like a makeup routine on this because I feel like this is like the best I've ever done my makeup. And tomorrow I have a wedding, like I said, so I'm gonna be doing this again tomorrow. like just a few days here in the entire month of june so as you can imagine i don't really have groceries here so i'm gonna go to the grocery store today and then i also have a meeting to meet someone in person for coffee later today so first things first i'm just gonna get ready and then i'm gonna head to the grocery store and i picked up the rare beauty tinted moisturizer because I really want to try it because I always use the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer but it's like totally out I literally have like that and that's like not coming out so I'm just gonna throw this away because it's done this has lasted me like at least a year like this is so 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 good so I'm gonna see how it compares to the Laura Mercier one and then I also got the Rare Beauty um, melting blush because I have very like pinky blushes and I wanted one that was a bit more like neutral color like um bronzy i guess not so pink because i feel like that works better with my skin tone but anyways i'm gonna try it right now and i'll let you know what i think this angle i gotta get a, a tripod that just like sticks to my mirror because these angles are just not it that kind of works look i didn't put any powder on so i'm going to see if it gets super 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 oily because i feel like usually my face gets oily but whenever i use cream products i don't like putting powder on top of them because i feel like it makes them look worse at the end of the day 
So hopefully this just doesn't get my skin oily. So we'll see. Um, but I like am obsessed. I really, really love it. The only powder I put on was the bronzer on top of everything. And I think it actually looks really good and like makes everything blend nicely. So yeah, I really like this makeup look. Um, and the tinted moisturizer, I will say, is a little more like it's a bit more coverage than the laura mercier one which i actually prefer and i like but i felt like i had to go in with like a beauty blender and blend everything out i couldn't just use my hands um but i think it looks really good my skin is looking great which is always good so i'm gonna head to the grocery store right now before i start my day it's currently eight or it's nine o'clock right now um and i have my first meeting at 10 but i might push it back to 10 30. I just want to get a good start to my week and I love going to the grocery store in the morning. today's sponsor which is Squarespace. Squarespace, if you don't already know then you must be new to my channel but it is the number one way to build a website because you don't need to know how to code, you don't need to know how to really do anything, all you need to have is a vision and Squarespace will execute. Everything is so customizable. You don't need to worry about making it look pretty because honestly Squarespace will do that with their beautiful themes and then you can customize any of them to your liking. I have used other website builders before and none of them can compare to Squarespace is ease, their templates, and also their customer service, which I think is slept on. Which, if you are running a business, you know how critical and how crucial that is to have someone that's going to be on top of it in case anything goes wrong. If you want 10% off your first purchase, then use my code NatalieBarbu or go to squarespace.com slash NatalieBarbu. The camera is so foggy with humidity, with like a glow going on. I'm so confused. I'm in my car. It's not that much better. Let me turn up like like is it getting better is that better i think that's better hey hello everybody <laughs> i drove to keon's this morning and now i forgot to get a coffee on my way here so i'm headed to get a coffee um at starbucks and just going through the drive through and then go have a really really long work day yesterday i didn't really vlog because i was so 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 busy and i was working the entire day and it was just a very very stressful day and whenever i get stressed i don't really like vlogging and i don't think you guys really love my like work days as much because they're kind of boring so i don't really blame you so let me know if you like them or not maybe i can do like dedicated work videos so you can see what i do for work like i've done before that way if you are interested you can watch that but my other vlogs I'm trying to make them a little bit more entertaining and show you a little bit more of like what I do that is not just sitting on my laptop or in taking meetings. I cannot tell if this is still foggy. I don't think it is. Gotta head to Starbucks right now. Um, Keon's not even here. He went to his house, um, like his house that he bought. I am not at that house. Um, so I'm gonna call him and I'm gonna see if he wants anything from Starbucks. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging. Do you want anything from Starbucks? Question mark. Anyone else use text to speak? I literally use it all the time. I do an iced oat milk latte, um, venti with light ice, please. And another venti iced latte with just regular milk. Um, and then can you just put like two pumps of simple syrup in that? Got it. Um, I'm gonna do the spinach feta egg white wrap. Perfect, what else are we doing? Um, ham and cheese croissant and then a cheese danish. And then that's it. Comes out 26.05, I'll see you up here. Okay, thank you. It is the next day. I feel like I've only been vlogging in my car, but 
I just had a meeting. I am in South Miami, which is a little bit of a drive. So had a meeting in South Miami and now I am going to Miami plastic surgery. I'm not getting plastic surgery, but I am getting Botox. I usually get Botox like two times a year. So I'm definitely due for it because the last time I got it was in January. So if you see actually this camera, like I feel like this camera like blurs me out or something, but yeah, like here, just want to get rid of any wrinkles. And then here, it's not too bad. Mainly, what I'm concerned with is just these little lines. Um, so yeah, I just get a little bit of Botox to prevent any wrinkles and to smooth everything out. Um, and that's about it. And I don't get, before I get questions, I, I've only gotten, I've gotten my lips filled. Like, or <laughs> I don't know if that's the right terminology. I've gotten lip filler. Super subtle. Like, it still looks really good, I think. I wouldn't want to go, like, huge or anything like that. Um, from Marissa at Miami Plastic Surgery, who's also doing my Botox. She's amazing. Uh, and I've never gotten anything else. I've never gotten filler. I've never gotten a nose job. I've never gotten, like, thread, threads or anything like that. Like, nothing, nothing else. Just Botox and a little bit of lips. And that's all I'm going to do. I don't think I will ever do filler, like, under my eyes or chin or jaw or anything like that like I just don't think it's necessary for me um and I don't think I'd ever do threads at all it just like scares me and 15 minutes later we're done it is super super quick I probably won't see the results until like three days um but it's already starting to kick in a little bit now I'm headed off gonna get a coffee um and then go back to my apartment okay so it's been a few days since I got Botox it's actually been I think over a week so I'm gonna show you guys the progress so lifting my eyebrows so you don't see any lines going like this and that's all I do I don't do like smile lines because I don't have any I don't do like the little like that area some people like to do I think it's cute I don't do it I really just do my lifting my eyebrows and going like this so yeah um but i also wanted to show you guys some skincare items that i like my skincare routine i just finished doing it but i did want to show you because i think that it's helped clear my skin so i'm gonna do a quick rundown but i'm gonna do a whole video once i get clear of like my acne scars um and everything to like actually show you what cleared my skin because it's a lot more than just skincare but i'm gonna break it down for you because it reminded me since i just did it so first thing I'll start with the morning. In the morning, I use this Peace Out Blemish Balm. I love this. It gently exfoliates. It has salicylic acid. It is the best, but I don't want to use it morning and night because I do think it's a little too harsh with the exfoliator if I did it both times. It has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and amino acid complex. So it's not really like drying or anything like that. Then afterwards, I go with my Obagi Professional C Serum, 15%. I got this from Derm Store. Um, and I just love it. I chose the 15% one, but I think if I repurchase this, I'm going to do 20% because I am not sensitive to the 15%, so I'd rather just like do the 20% to see if it could get rid of my scars quicker. But I've been loving this. I think it really helps with brightening. And then I go in with a moisturizer, and I use the La Roche-Posay, this double moisturizer. I think it's really, really great. It moisturizes without being like oily or anything like that. Like this gets absorbed right away. And then for sunscreen, I use Ilya's sunscreen. Um, it's like a serum sunscreen that's SPF 40, and it gives you like a nice glow, and I really love it. And then at night, I use Dermalogica. This is the special cleansing gel. Then I go in every other night, depending on how I'm feeling, with either Acid Potion by Moon Juice. This is the best thing. If I can convince you to get anything that I'm sharing, it is this. This has transformed my skin. It is so good. Um, and then, or instead of that, I switch it up and I use Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. And this one's also pretty good too. Um, but this one... I try to do it every other night just to not like damage my skin. And then I moisturize again with the La Roche-Posay. And to take my makeup off, I use this pore cleansing oil. I've been using this for so long. This is like my fourth bottle, fourth or fifth bottle. And I reorder this one every single time. It's the best. Uh, and then in the morning, sometimes I will gua sha, but I will only gua sha my neck area to kind of prevent me from getting that double chin. 
um and then i've heard it helps with acne but i'm not like convinced that that has helped my acne at all i just know that i like doing it for like my double chin area so yeah that's my skincare routine i'll have all the products linked down below but i'm about to go to bed and i thought it was a good place to end this vlog since i did talk about skincare a lot in this so i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you did please let me know and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys